Oh, well, it's your feel-good breakfast show on this beautiful Friday morning. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of pictures on your screens. Take a look at these pictures because when you look at them, you might be excused for thinking that they are they're formless and without any kind of structure. But if you consider the fact that the artist actually created these without having a look down at the piece of paper or the parchment that they were drawing on, then you kind of develop a new sense of admiration for them. And it's a, te a technique that's called blind contour drawing. And uh, artists uh, or student artists actually use it to break barriers. And New York-based artist Ian Sklarsky has has become a master of it and he joins us this morning. So how are you? Good morning, doing good. It's so, so good to have you here and uh, I, I was showing you my attempt at uh, right there. contour yeah. drawing and please tell the nation now what you told it's me. It's amazing, by... it's great. You have to do one line though. <laughs> oh, so, oh, yeah. so yeah, it's, it's not yeah, that good. Many lines there. So. <laughs> now I understand good. that it's a technique that was developed by somebody called, is it Kimon Nicolaitis? Yes. Kimon yeah. Nicolaitis. Tell us a bit more about this technique and how you came about it. Um, well, in school, uh, basically in fourth grade, grade four, uh, it's, it's like a one day practice. So you sit down, it's one line without looking at the paper and um, you just draw exactly what you see. Yeah. Uh, but you don't look at the paper. Mm -hmm. And it's something that really creates your, your brain, it maps your brain and your hand together. Yes. And it makes you focus. And you did this thing. in the fourth grade. What, and fourth grade. Right now it's being applied at a high level of education yeah. where art students are learning uh, to be more creative. Why do you think it's so, it's, it's so exceptionally good at teaching people to be more creative? Uh, well, the one thing that it does is it allows you to fail all the time. Because you don't, you aren't going to be successful at this, no matter how hard you try. And so the abstract quality that you get from this is amazing, and the boundaries kind of just uh, vanish mm -hmm. when when you do this kind of this style of art. Yeah, it so opens it teaches, up your mind. Yeah, it teaches people that you know you can encompass failure, and it still can be good. And it actually can still be good. People can yeah. be like, oh, what is that? Yeah. Are you a Picasso? Oh wow! Look <laughs> at some of these. Tell me about some of these. What? what whoa! What was this? Uh, these are these are portraits. Uh, a lot of my style starts with the eye. As you can see, it goes outward, and then um, it just it's a it's a quick portrait, which I'll be doing today too. Fantastic! Yeah. So, well, we've got a, a challenge for you. You're mm -hmm. going to be drawing a couple of uh, objects and subjects uh, throughout the show, and then at the end, we'll reveal the results. of it. thank Perfect. you very much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, you and I still got to say, man, you got to frame up my picture that I drew of you <laughs> and put it up somewhere in the house, eh?